Hey everybody, this is going to be a tutorial on how to install Slash Diablo. So the first thing I want to do is download the first two links in the video description. You should end up with a zip file and an executable, like you see here. We're going to go ahead and extract the zip file. Alright, so once that's extracted, uh, open up this folder, go ahead and delete the 113D executable so you don't accidentally run it. Go into the original folder and run this installer. Click install, scroll to the bottom, agree, put in your information, I'm just going to put in the key, um, if you need a key, there's a key, bam. Install it. Alright. Now let's exit out that installer. Don't run the game. Don't try to go into Battle.net because it'll patch you too high up. Go into Expansion. Um, we're going to run this installer now. And here's the key for the expansion. Paste, paste, and make sure you get that. Hit OK. Alrighty, so now what we need to do is we need to download the launcher. It's going to open up Google, and this will be the third link in the description to this page. So click on the launcher. Uh, little link right here. Alright, that downloads it. Open up the launcher, hit run. Alright, uh, game.exe not found, please set the correct path. So you're going to hit OK, and you're going to find where you installed the game. Now for me it's going to be in computer, C, program files x86, Diablo 2. I don't know where you installed it. You'll have to figure that out. Hit OK. And then you'll have to run the uh, launcher again. So I'm just going to hit Start. Oh, I guess it's in my Downloads folder. I'll just go right back over there. Slash Gaming Launcher. You might actually want to just move it to your desktop. But let's try this. Alright. It's going to run it. Um, it's not 1.13c or 1.13d. So exit out of this. Let's go back to our downloads folder where we had our 1.13c patch. Let's run this patch file. Alright, so now... Okay, Diablo 2 tried to run for some reason, and uh, the program blew up, which is expected. Okay, but now our game is patched. So let's go back and run the launcher again. Alright, so first, uh, we're going to generate this air fix. So click on this, and... Um, Actually, I'm not going to do it this way. I'm going to do it the manual way, because last time when I tried this, it didn't work. So go to Start, um, click on Computer, and actually go to Start, right-click on Computer, go down to Properties, go to Advanced System Settings. Um, under the Advanced tab, click on Settings. Click on Data Execution Prevention and then um, all right, click the second checkbox hit add and we're going to find our Diablo 2 EXE so I'm going to go to wherever my installation path was C, program files and then Diablo 2 and I'm just going to select um, Diablo 2 hit open 
and hit apply and hit OK. OK. All right. Now, <clears throat> we also, let's see. So we're going to select slash Diablo for a patch and gateway. And that should set up our gateways. So now what we need to do is let's exit out of this because for some reason the launcher crashes when I try to run from it. And I want to close out of that. Um, see now we have our Diablo 2 uh, shortcut. We're going to edit this shortcut just to make this easier to test. And we're going to start it in windowed mode and I just added a minus W in the shortcut to do that. Let's run this. Alright, so now it's running. Our gateway, as you see, is slash Diablo. If it doesn't say slash Diablo, don't try to connect because it'll patch you too far up. Uh, click on Battle.net, and there you go. We are on. So, <clears throat> Real quick, let's try to run it in full screen and see what happens. It's probably going to crash. So I took out that minus W. I'm going to run it. And you see what happened um, was I got this unhandled exception, C0005. So how do you fix this, you might be wondering. Let's see, we're going to go to Start Computer. Let's close out that exception. All right, we're going to go to C, Program Files, wherever your Diablo 2 installation was. Diablo 2. And first we're going to run the D2 vid test. Uh, we're going to skip the test, though. I'm not going to hit that run button. And make sure you have Glide selected. Uh, if you don't see Glide, Google up Diablo 2 Glide. I forget actually if it was something that I had done to get this option. But um, just Google it if you want to run full screen. Diablo 2 Glide and you should find something on it. And then you should, after you do the steps that it tells you to do, you should be able to select this. So I'm going to select Glide. And I'm going to run the game again. So I don't think you can see it, but the game ran, so I'm going to exit it. And there's one more thing we're going to set up, and that is uh, how to run multiple instances, so if you want a multi-box. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to properties and set this back to windowed mode. And we're going to run Diablo 2. But you see, when we go to run another Diablo 2, it should blow up, so you can only run one copy at a time. So what we need to do is, inside of our Diablo 2 folder, we need to replace this file called d2gfx.dll. So let's go to Google real quick. d2gfx.dll 1.13c. See what we find. Um, So I found it now, and I'll have a link to this page. Uh, what you're going to do is run, or you're going to download this second to last one, 1.13 CD2GFX DLL. And we're going to choose to keep this. And we'll show it in the folder. All right, so we're going to copy this, or cut it in my case. Go to Diablo 2, and we're going to paste it here so our old d2gfx.dll, we're just going to rename that. Um, I'll add backup to the end of it. And that file we just downloaded, we're going to rename that to just d2gfx.dll. So we're going to take out the 1.13c, hit enter. So now, when we go to run Diablo 2, we should be able to run more than one instance of it. There's the first instance, and there is a second instance. 
So now we can multi-box. Uh, keep in mind on Slash Diablo you can only run up to four instances uh, per IP. So it's something to remember. So hopefully this was helpful. And if it was, make sure you give me all your high runes uh, when you get them. That'd be great. Yep.